folks, this is Aileen of Shabby.ie and today I'm going to take you through painting a laminate kitchen. Yes, so many of you have sent in messages and emails asking, is it harder to paint a laminate kitchen than it is an ordinary kitchen? Well, no, it's not. The only difference is you have to make sure you use the right products so that your paint adheres well to these cupboards. But I'm gonna take you through that today. Now the first thing I'm going to do is remove all of those cupboard doors because you cannot paint them when they're up on the cupboards. Much easier to get them down flat so I can sand them, prime them. So get them all off with your cordless screwdriver, makes it much easier, or your cordless drill. Now that all the cupboard doors are off, this is going to be much easier. I'm going to line them up and I'm going to give them a good clean scuff sand and then I'm going to use the correct primer for this job. Removing the handles from all the doors is really quite important. Now this custom wants to replace the handles, so it's easy. I'm just going to take them off and discard them and she'll give me the new ones to put back on. But even if she wasn't, I would be taking these handles off so that I can get a nice clean line in my painting. So wherever possible, remove the hardware from whatever it is that you're painting. Now I really urge you to take your time here. Give it a good clean. You don't realize how much grease can be on kitchen cupboards and some of it you can't even see. So a good scrubbing, dry it off with some kitchen roller or cloth before you scuff sand and before you roll on your primer. I took this opportunity to clean the backs of the doors too because it's just not something you do very often and while I have them down let's get them all clean before we put them back up. Then I wrapped a medium grade sandpaper around a sanding block, you can also use a little piece of wood and created millions of little scratches. Now I'm only lightly sanding here, this is a laminate, it's not real wood, I'm not going to try and take this laminate off. Just a few little scratches for your primer and your new paint to sink its teeth into. The primer I'm using today is an oil-based product called Bloxit. Fantastic, super adhesion. It will stick really well, you'll see, to laminate. Now the Blox primer can appear to be sticky. It is a different consistency than you may be used to if you're only used to using water-based paints and primers, but that's the way it's meant to be. So just keep rolling it out till you get it nice and smooth because this is what gives you the adhesion onto laminate, which can be a difficult surface. And you want the Blox primer to adhere really well so that your paint then adheres to the primer. So take your time, roll it on, get it into all those grooves, if you have grooves in your door, and get it nice and flat. And most importantly, give it lots of time to dry. Adhere to the drying times. See how easy it is to do all the doors in one go if you have them lined up on the table and you have them all cleaned and scuff sanded and ready to go. Then all you have to do is roll on your primer, let it dry and then let's do a scratch test and see how well this primer actually adhered. Day one, what have I done? I removed the cupboard doors from the kitchen, laid them all out on a big kitchen table, and then I took off the hardware, I cleaned it, scuff sanded it, and I primed it. Now, I'm going to leave this primer to completely dry. I'm gonna leave it till tomorrow, when I'm going to do a second coat in the morning, and then I'll start with the paint tomorrow afternoon. Uh, also, I've had to fill holes because the owner couldn't get the exact same handle in a different colour. 
so they're slightly smaller so I'm going to fill all those holes where the handles were and then drill new ones for the new handles. It's the next morning so let's see how this primer adhered to laminate. Let's give it a good old scratch up and see does any of it come off. Nope, it stuck really well didn't it? Time to move on to the paint. So today I'm using Fleetwood Advanced Range and I'm using the satin wood in a colour called Designer White. Now why would I use satin wood over an eggshell finish? Well it's entirely up to you but this satin wood allows the customer to wash it down if it gets dirty. It's a hard wearing, very good paint for all internal use. So while the cupboard doors are drying, uh, don't think it's time to sit down and have a cup of tea. No, 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 you can start working on the carcass. And doing the carcass is exactly the same as we did with the uh, door fronts. We clean it, we give it a good scuff sand, which you've just seen me do. And then I'm going to go straight in and roll in the primer and then the paint, exactly the same way as we did the door fronts. And now I'm going to roll on the primer exactly as I did on the, uh, the front of the cupboard doors. Unfortunately here I've started and then I realised that I didn't put my washi tape on anywhere and I can't get near the top edge or the side edge without going on to surfaces that I shouldn't be painting. So I'm going to have to stop, put on my washi tape and start again. Now you see I've got the washi tape on. I can clearly get right into the edge because although the paint goes on the tiles, it's not on the tiles, it's on my washi tape. So I can get a nice clean edge along the side and a good edge along the top. God bless washi tape. Before my final coat of paint on the door fronts, I gave all the doors a little rub with my super fine sanding pad. This ensures that the doors feel as good as they look. Really silky smooth, like they've been sprayed on. Let's get the new handles on the doors, and then we're nearly ready to put them back. You've seen it before, now have a look at the after. And tell me what you think. Is it better? The customer was certainly delighted. Thrilled, in fact. She felt like she got a brand new kitchen a week before Christmas. A lick of paint, guys. That's all it is. You're well capable of giving this a go yourself. <laughs>